Well, good morning. It's an absolute beautiful day out here in Northeast Oregon, which is perfect because we have planned. Yeah, I, I don't know. We did have some plans for today, but um, the night before last, Erica got called in at 4.15 in the morning to take care of a patient. The hospital called her again this morning at four something. So she has a patient in labor that she's taking care of. And until that patient delivers, yeah, we're just on, on standby, no clue. She's here right now putting the baby down for a nap. We were going to do things like mow the lawn, finish working on our flower beds, mow the fields. Just look at the size of that thistle. But instead, this is gonna be a completely unscripted, no idea what to expect, no clue what's gonna happen next kind of day. The difficult parts of days like today are, Erica could get called in at any second for an indefinite amount of time. She could be there for half an hour. She could be there for a day. I just don't know. And when that happens, I have to immediately jump in, take care of kiddo. So I have to hang around the house. Can't really make any involved plans like being out on the tractor and just kind of, kind of wing it. <laughs> well, thanks for putting him down. This? Did you get her outside at all? No, she just came downstairs. Riptide, you're not feeling good. Poor little girl ate something outside. She's not feeling good today. Imagine that, a dog that had a dietary indiscretion. What a surprise. Hey, Caitlin, Dr. Z. How's it going? Hi. All right, she says she'll go check her. And you want her to give you a call back? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Bye. You're awesome. Bye. So, no set plan yet? Nope. Nope. <sighs> nope. Okay. So you can stay here for a while? Yeah. Okay, cool. Does that sound good to you? Sounds great to me, sounds delicious. Mm. I would love to have some lunch. Okay. Okay, I'll call something in. Okay, a little bit of movement here. I'm gonna go pick up some Mexican food for us. It turns out that Erica's patient is gonna be there for a little while, so I have a chance to get away and go get us some snacks. Now, it may not sound like it's risky to go to the Mexican place, but for us, it is. And that's because Erica is still on call. She could be called any second to go back into the hospital. And she has a 20 minute window to make it in. So if I'm not there, if I'm gone, and she gets that call to go back in, she has to call me and I have to rush back, be here in 10 minutes so she can make it to the, to the hospital in time. So, a little bit of a risk going out to get food, but we're both kind of hungry. All right, so far so good. She hasn't called me. I don't think the hospital's called her. In theory, the food will be ready, so this shouldn't take too long. Good to go. When, when I got in there, I could see this just sitting there, ready to go, but no one was at the counter, and I was just like, oh, it's, I want this. I need this now. So anyway, got the food, gonna head back. So here's something I've always kind of wondered. When you run out to get food for you and your partner, is it bad form to dig in before you actually get home? I don't know. But on the other hand, you want to make sure that the chips haven't gone stale. I mean, that one was pretty good, but this one, you, you can't have a sample population of just one. You got to try a couple. So really, I'm doing her a favor. But I do know where to draw the line. I won't ask her to thank me for this when I uh, when I get home, for making sure that she doesn't get some stale chips. I got lunch. Did anybody call? It's not yet. No. Hey, good. Do we have an awake baby? Not yet. Hey, good. Sorry, they were out of chips. Ugh. I had hoped that having a large, cheesy, heavy Mexican lunch would give me some more energy and help me rally. But believe it or not, that isn't exactly what happened. So grandma's going to babysit um, baby while Eric is gone. She's going back to the hospital to do charts. I've got my two napping buddies, so I'm gonna just close my eyes for a while and see what happens when I wake up. Just woke up from the nap and it was a smart move in so many ways. First, got a text from Erica saying that she had delivered the baby and she's back. So that's already taken care of. I feel better. And from what it sounds like, there's a party on the back deck just about to start. There is a splash table party. 
Is this party an open invite for everybody? Uh, yes. Yeah. So. yeah. As long as you meet the minimum age of ready for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he is starting to slow down a little bit. Did you see him drinking? That's why we clean it first. That's right. This frog's a little slimy. I tried to clean them all up. It's okay. Yeah! Fish lives right here. That doesn't make sense. Live? Give the frog the lily pad. Here's oh, a fish. Here's a fish. And then the and fish can the live in the water with the duck. Like, I just... Where the duck can live on the little... You know, this is where the frog lives. Look. There Look we that. go. <laughs> Yet? No, he won't admit he's cold. Uh, yeah. Uh, really? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's so done. You poor. You party too hard. Time to go in. I don't think he minds the sink bath. You remember when you used to do this when you were a tiny baby? <laughs> Hey, big guy. What do you think? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I know when you're gone now what to do with them for several hours at a time. Yeah, right? <laughs> I hope you can hear that, but that's thunder. We've got a lightning storm coming at us from the south. And I feel that that's the perfect way to sum up this day because what was predicted for today was sunshine and clear skies and warmth. And we're ending with a thunderstorm and lightning that's coming through. But that's a great way to sum up a day that just kind of rumbled along from one thing to another. Yeah, that, that was kind of a stretch. <laughs> uh.